Hollywood. Here's the game where knowledge is king and Lady Luck is queen. It's the Joker's Wild. And now, here's your host, Brandon Scruggs. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome into another edition of the Joker's Wild right here at MVG Productions. Glad you could join us back here once again. Well, on this episode here, we have ourselves another champion's battle as our current reigning champion and our interim champion battle it out to see who will walk away from this as our overall champion of the show. With that said, let's meet our challengers for our first game. Our current reigning interim champion has a one-game all-cash total of $8,000 from the great city of Michigan. Meet Lawrence McNeil. And our reigning champion, whose 10 wooden game cash and prizes total $131,636 from the state of Louisiana, meet Jason Myers. Okay. Welcome in, gentlemen. How are you doing today? Uh, hanging in there. I can understand yeah. so. Um, well, things... as. Uh, Going to be a good champions battle between you two guys here. Uh, Lawrence, uh, you were on our last episode here. You managed to take down um, Aaron in our, th our last game, become our new champion. He didn't have, didn't have much luck against Lucy, but mind you, not many people have this season. Yeah, you think sadly. You, you think you can have the, have the uh, trivia chops to take down our long-reigning champion here? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. Uh, uh, well, let's. Well, we'll see what happens in the next matter of minutes. So, the, the best of luck to uh, best of luck to my uh, opponents. So, all right. Well, good luck to you and Jason. We welcome you back. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Again, with barring the bonus round half of this, you've had <laughs> quite the impressive run on this on this seat on this series of shows are here with 10 wins in a row and 131,000 plus in cash and prizes so far. Do you feel any pressure on you to see how long you can maintain this streak? As far as the front game is concerned, not so much. As far as the bonus game, I just wish he'd leave me alone for, for fuck's sake. Hey, that, I, 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 just looking at my total and how many wins I have, it's not that impressive. Like I, I've seen people win uh, like four times as much with this many wins. I'm, I'm barely cracked six figures at this point. What the hell? What did I do to deserve this? I wish I knew. If I could answer that question, we could probably fix this. But the only thing we can do to, for, to try to turn things around for you is see if you can get yourself another win here and get back to that bonus round and try to turn things around for yourself here. But are you ready to go? Yeah. All right. Well, best of luck to you both. You guys know how the game works. First player to $5,000 and proper turn wins the game. Goes on to the bonus round for a shot at lots of cash prizes and possibly a new car if you can have luck beating the devil. Uh, <coughs> before we get yeah. started on this one, I'll let you know that our current um, natural triple jackpot for this first game up here currently stands at $57,500. Quite quite a long time since we've hit it last here, so we are looking to see if we can possibly give it away here. So with that said, let's look at the categories you guys are going to be playing with in this first game of the Joker's Wild, and they are the following. We have pop culture, films, we're booked, slogans, geek chic, and finally, anything goes. All right. Uh, so we unlock the reels for our contestants here, and Jason's our reigning overall reigning <coughs> champion, so he will be sitting in the champion's seat. And as for Lawrence, he's our interim champion, therefore the challenger in this matchup. So you will be spinning first, sir. So when you are ready, give it a spin. Good luck to you. Okay, uh, let's get something good here, or not. <laughs> okay, third time's a charm. Damn it. Uh... There it goes. Film, we're booked, and a Joker. Films for 1K. All right, films for $1,000. Here comes a films question for you, sir. What's the name of Woody Harrelson's character in the Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2 movie? Again, what's the name of Woody Harrelson's character in the Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2 movie? Is it A, Haymitch, B, Gale, C, 
Pita or D, Effie? Yeah, I remember that movie well, and it was played by Haymitch. Haymitch is the correct answer. Very good. $1,000 for you. All right. It's on the board first. 1000 to nothing. And Jason, it's going to be your spin. Yeah, it goes something. There we go. Anything goes. Joker and pop culture. Let's go pop culture. All right, going pop culture for $1,000. Here comes a pop culture question for you, sir. All right, in the Transformers storyline, the Decepticons are the enemies of the Autobots. For $1,000, name their villainous leader. Oh, damn. Uh, let's see. Oh, what the hell is his name? Five seconds. Uh, uh, Megatron, I, I got nothing. Well, you got it Megatron. at the buzzer. That is the correct answer. Well done. $1,000. <laughs> yeah. The stress Dude, paid like, off. I knew, I knew Optimus Prime was the leader of the Autobots. I couldn't. I was like, what the? F well, you pulled it out last second there, so you got it in time. So it's all tied up. $1,000 a piece. Lawrence, you're spinning. Okay, here we go. Joker. Anything goes. And anything goes. Mm, what's the maximum amount I can play for? Two thousand. Any goes for two thousand. All right, two thousand dollars under the category of anything goes. Let's see what the questionnaire comes up for you, sir. Lawrence, the Jewish candle holder called the menorah is associated with what holiday? For two thousand dollars, name it. Uh, associated with uh, what holiday? Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Uh, the menorah is... Uh, is it Hanukkah? Hanukkah is the correct answer. $2,000. Oh, well done. Lord. At first, I was thinking it was Kwanzaa, but no. I would have gone home. Well, good job. You managed to save it there. You're up to $3,000. Jason, you're spin. Get in. Go. We are booked. We are booked. Phil. Oh. Damn! Uh, again, teasing me with the natural triple. Why me? Oh, uh, we're booked. All right, we're booked for $1,000. Here comes your question under We Are Booked, sir. Who was the first British writer to win the Nobel Prize for Literature? Again, who was the first British writer to win the Nobel Prize for Literature? For $1,000, name him. Oh. Um. Was it Kipling? Kipling is the correct answer. Good job. $1,000. All right. Well done. 2000 to 3000 Champs only behind by a little bit. Lawrence, your spin. Just a little bit. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's see if I can. Okay. Go, Joker. Joker. Slogans. Oh, Lord have mercy. Slogans for mm, what maximum amount again? Two thousand. Two thousand. Let's go for it for two thousand. All right. If you get this question correct under slogan, sir, it'll put, give you five thousand dollars enough to win the game. However, uh, Jason, as the champion, will get one more spin. All right. Under the category of slogans, I'm going to give you a famous slogan. All you have to do is tell me what company or brand that that slogan's associated with. Okay. Your slogan. Mm -hmm. Your slogan is the ultimate driving machine. The ultimate driving machine for two thousand dollars and to possibly win the game, name the company. Mm, is it Mercedes? No, I'm sorry. It's not Mercedes. Jason, you can take the lead if you know it. BMW. BMW is the correct answer. Well done. $2,000. All right. Champ takes the lead. 4000 to 3000 Jason could win it on this spin. Yeah. Geek chic. Geek chic. Slogan. Damn! <laughs> Lord. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, these reels are I hope to get me. That does make me make me lose my shit. Uh, Geek Chic, please. 
Geek Chic for $1,000. All right, again, Jason, if you get this question correct under Geek Chic, it'll give you $5,000 in proper turn, enough to win the game. Here is your question. What term describes when the moon passes between the Earth and the sun, blocking out light from the latter? For $1,000 and to remain as champion, name it. Uh, would that be an eclipse? More information. Oh, geez. Uh, moon between the sun and the Earth, would that be a solar eclipse? That is the correct dance. You've won your 11th game. Well, got I was going to be sick if it was me. Good job, Jason. Well proud of you. Well done. Thank you, sir. Congratulations to you, sir. Another $5,000 in winnings. You're getting another shot at Lucy here in just a minute. Lawrence, I've got to say goodbye to you, sir, but you were a valiant champ. Put in a very valiant effort here, sir. You're not leaving us here empty handed. You take with you $8,000 all in cash, and our thanks for playing. We'll hopefully have you back for a future episode, all right? Mm -hmm. All right, Jason, you've managed to hold on to it again, sir. $136,636 cash and prizes is what you've got. We're going to pause with the cause and take a commercial break. We'll come back and see if Jason can finally take down Lucy once again in our bonus round. We'll do that right after the break. Stay with us. Oh, God. Back here, the joke is wild with Jason, who has just won his 11th game now. Over $136,000, and now for the task at hand, taking down Lucy. Come on over, Jason. Nothing against that level of a day, but I, I just want to stay over here and try to save myself a trip and the embarrassment that comes with it. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, you know what? That's fine. I'll come over there then. Okay. It's like, Seamus, can you switch the lever to the one on the on the contestant podium? <laughs> Please. There you go. It, it must be easier. Ah, fine. We want to do this over here. I can do it. Hopefully. You see you got the giant prize board loaded up there, so all full of goodies and prizes that I want to give to you. So when you're real lucky, go ahead and pull that lever, and let's see what you'll be playing for. It's not a matter of you want to give it to you. It's a matter of I'd like to claim it more than once. Right? <laughs> yeah. There we go. Hey, a good start on that prize package. A trip to Aspen, a digital piano, and a joker for 10000 brings your total to 18724 And you've earned a bonus spin, so spin it again. Okay, come on. Hey, another joker there, along with a computer desk and computer, along and a Therasana. Gives you a prize package of $37,100 and a chance to play for a brand new car. Three cars up there, sir. Which one would you like? I could use that Derisada to calm the hell down. <laughs> uh, let's go number two this time. Number two. Well, if you manage to beat Lucy this time, you'll take home your prize package and drive away at a brand new Ooh. Ford Mustang worth $21,874, making your total prize package $58,974. That can be yours when you beat the devil. We believe in you, Jason. Yeah, yeah you got the win. <laughs> pull up your pants for this one, Jason. Pull them up. If uh, I pull my pants up any more, they'll be up to my... Never mind. Oh, uh, my. <laughs> oh Lord. They'll be up to your blank. <laughs> wow. wow. Yeah. <laughs> but, yes, there, I'm writing that down, saving that for next episode of Match Game. <laughs> anyway. Yes. All right, Jason, you know what the task at hand is now. Get to $10,000 yes. or spin a natural triple. Or spend three jokers. One, do one of those three things, and you're walking out of here with that prize package. Now, should you spend three jokers on any of your spins, you win the joker's jackpot, which now stands at $175,000. Managed to do that in one of your first two spins of the reels. I'm going to double that to, wait for it, tree fitty. Thousand. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Lord. But either way, again, of course, at any time, though, if you feel like you are f fighting against the odds here and you fe fear the devil, you can stop and take the cash you've won at any time and walk away. 
But should Lucy pop up on the reels before you get to the 10,000, or you spend a natural triple, or you see three jokers, you lose everything but the joker bonus money that you get. Because remember, for each joker you spend on the reels, you get $1,000 in guaranteed bonus money. Okay? Right. So when you're feeling lucky, and we're gonna, I'm standing right here at the podium with you, let's see if you can do it, and let's see if you can beat the devil. Good luck to you. Jason! Jason! And just for the record, I'm bracing myself on this podium because right. there's nothing for me to brace myself on over there. And I'm not my way on your shoulders. All right. <laughs> it's fine. Go ahead. Come on. First spin up. 1,000. 1,000. 2,000. So close. But, but a great start, though. That's $4,000. You can stop and take that money right now or risk it and go on. What do you want to do? All right, risking four thousand dollars on this spin. Jason, Jason. Hang on, spin. Two thousand. Joker, two fifty. All right. All right. So you got a thousand more a minute. Sixty-two fifty is what you got now. You need thirty-seven fifty more to win. Take the money and run, or play on. What do you want to do? He's playing on. Thirty-seven fifty is all we need to see. Here we go. Are oh, you serious? Unbelievable. This, this, this is, this is something goodness. else right that's here. That's 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 back. Wow. Well, Jason. Devil, why do you have to bully poor Jason? Jason does not deserve this. I'll put it this way. I'll put it this way, Jason. <laughs> this is the closest I've seen you actually getting to beating him recently. So it's a good sign things are improving. But also in good news, though, you managed to pick up two jokers in those spins. So that's $2,000 in guaranteed money. Added to your previous winnings gives you a grand total now, cash and prizes, of $138,636. Devil, sleep it. Next game, you better leave Jason alone. Please. Uh, damn, right? I got no words. I, I, I can understand. So I don't either. We're gonna, Me neither. We're, we're going to give I Jason don't... a minute here to kind of collect himself, and we're going to find him another opponent. We'll be back with more of the Joker's Wild right after this. Stay with us. Uh, That's no. a big rip. That's a big rip. Welcome back to the Joker's Wild here. Jason is still our champion and unfortunately still losing against Lucy in the bonus round. We've got to figure out a way to change that. But hopefully you can do so if you get another chance to play against him. But in order to do so, you have to take on your next opponent. So let's meet him now. Returning back to this episode of the Joker's Wild, please welcome back Jose Casares. Hello, how you doing, Now, for the folks at home who, who've been longtime viewers of the show, you know that once the contestant plays on an episode, we usually make them sit out for at least one episode before they get a chance to play again. But also in the same essence here, that Jace, we allow, have our champions play through everybody in the audience to give them a chance to play before they circle back around and try to take on new folks here. And this rare occasion here, we have a massive audience here who Jason has beaten every single one of them, but two people. And Jose was one of them. And being he played in the last episode, I'm getting rid of the um, one game delay to play, and we have welcome you back here. All right, well, thank you for having me. It's great to be back. Uh, you, didn't fare out, you didn't fare out as well last time you were on the show. Uh, show here, but do you feel like uh, you've gotten a little bit more experience now? You think you have better luck this time against our a long-standing champion here? Well, we'll see what happens. I'm just here to have fun. All right. Well, best of luck to you. Let's shake hands, come out fighting, and let's take a look at our categories we'll be using for this game of the Joker's Wild, and they are the following. We have music, movie quotes, math and measures, past, present, and future, athletic feats, and finally we finish with some general knowledge. Now in the movie quotes category, players, I will give you a famous movie quote. All you have to do is tell me the name of the movie that it comes from, okay? 
So with that said, we've unlocked the reels for our players. And Jose, as the challenger, you have the right to spin first. So when you are ready, give those reels a spin. Good luck to you. All right, good luck, Jason. I hope you. I hope we both do well here. Let's go. Oh, oh, I got a cookie. My bad. There you go. General knowledge, Joker, and general knowledge. Whoa. Okay. This is a good start. Let's go general knowledge for two Gs. All right. General knowledge for $2,000. Here comes your general knowledge question, sir. Actophobia. That's A-T-Y-C-H-I-P-H-O-B-I-A. Actophobia is a fear of what? Is it A, failure, B, crying, C, sneezing, or D, marriage? I'm going to say A, failure. And that is a correct answer. Well done. All right. There you go. You're on the board first. You have $2,000. Jason, your spin. Okay. You're a joker. General knowledge. And music. Go music. All right. Going music for $1,000. Here comes, here comes your music question, sir. All right. What song was used to launch MTV in America. Again, what song was used to launch MTV in America? For $1,000, name it. Uh, was it Video Killed the Radio Stuff? It did, but you're absolutely right. Good job. <laughs> and the song has a whole different meaning nowadays. Yeah, MTV. reality killed mm. video star. <laughs> that is quite true, but well done. You're on the board. You got $1,000, 2000 to 1000 and Jose, you're spin. All right, here we go. Here we go. Movie quotes, athletic feats, and music. Hmm. Tough call here. Uh, let's go music for 500 All right, going to music for $500. Here comes a mu another music question for you. What? What band had a hit with Sweet Dreams Are Made of This? Again, what band had a hit with Sweet Dreams Are Made of This? For $500, name them. Uh, is it the Eurythmics? That is the band in question. Very good. $500. All right. All right. 2500 to 1000 Jason, your spin. Here you go. Music. Joker. Math and measures. Let's go with music again. All right, another music question for another thousand dollars, sir. Here it comes under music. What was the name of the big hit for the artist cameo in 1986? Again, what was the name of the hit for the artist cameo in 1986? For a thousand dollars, name that tune. Come on, everybody, tell me what's the word, word up. If I could give you bonus cash for singing, I would. <laughs> but that's very good. You're right. <laughs> not a bad not a bad way to sing it, Jason. Well done. Well played, sir. Up to $2,000 for you. All good game here. 2500 to 2000 Jose, back to you. Can't tell me I don't know my I'll, I'll never I'll never forget that. That's the way Jason Here we go. Thing. Math and measures, movie quotes, and math and measures. All right, we'll take the pair. Math and measures for a thousand. All right, math and measures for one thousand dollars, sir. Here comes your question. It's a math equation. All you have to do is give me the answer. What is four plus three plus two plus one times zero? Again, four plus three plus two plus one times zero. For a thousand dollars. What's the answer? Well, if you multiply anything by zero, you're going to get zero. That's my answer. And that is incorrect. It's not zero. Oh. Jason, 1,000 for you if you know it. Well, there's that way of going about it, and then there's the other way, which would be nine. Nine is the correct answer. Well done, 1,000. What? <laughs> In mathematics, you use order of operations here, where you multiply, oh, multiply, oh, and divide before you add and subtract. So you multiply the one times zero for nothing, leaving the four plus three plus two plus nothing, which equals nine. Oh my also, god! Uh, also, no, it's I'm because I'm a math expert. I should know please, that. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Yes. <laughs> also known as PEMDAS. 
Yeah. Exactly. Well done. So Jason picks up the money. He's in the lead now with three thousand dollars. Jason, your spin. Here we go. Movie quotes. Choker. Past, present, and future. Let's get them quotations going. All right. Movie quotes for one thousand dollars. Again, in this category, I'll give you a famous movie quote. All you have to do is tell me the movie that it came from. Here is your quote, sir. That's not a moon. It's a space station. For a thousand dollars, name that movie. That would be Star Wars. That would be the correct answer. Well done. Oh my gosh! Good job. And there's at least three people in this chat that would kill me if I got it wrong. <laughs> me potentially being one of them, but that's a yeah. that's a whole <laughs> that I'm just messing with you at this point. Four thousand to twenty five hundred, Jose. Let's see if you can catch up here. I need redemption after making that dumb mistake on order operation. Here you go. Past, present, and future. Joker. Movie quotes. Oh, that doesn't help. All right, we'll go movie quotes for 1000 All right, see how well you do here. Movie quotes for $1,000. Here comes your movie quote, sir. If you ever disrespect my wife again, I will end you. Again, if you ever disrespect my wife again, I will end you. For a thousand dollars, name the movie that's from. You ever disrespect my wife, I will end you. Mm -hmm. hmm. Is it Goodwill Hunting? It is Goodwill Hunting. Very good. Thousand dollars for you. Good boy. Good job. Thirty-five hundred to four thousand dollars. There, Jason, your spin. Joker. Past, present, future, and a joker. Oh, boy. Uh, let's go off the board and go with music for 1000 All right, going music for $1,000. If you get this question correct, under music, sir, it'll give you $5,000 in proper turn, enough to win the game. However, miss it, Jose can take the lead. Here comes your question. What did Tom Petty's band break? Again, what did Tom Betty band break? For $1,000 and the game, name it. Hearts. Hearts is the correct answer. You've won your 12th game. Well done. Jose. Well done, sir. Another 5,000 in winnings for you, and the hits just keep on coming. Well done. Talk to you in a second here. Jose. You put up a hell of a fight there, sir. All because I can I forgot the order of operations. I'm gonna I'm gonna kick myself for not getting that one. Well, it's it's okay because the good the good news about this you'll you'll remember them from here on out. But more importantly, though, <laughs> you played a very good game here again, and you're leaving here this time with the thirty five hundred dollars in your pocket. With our thanks for playing. All right. Yeah. Well, I tried again. Third time apparently isn't the charm. Well, you'll, well, we'll see what happens. Go get him. Go get Lucy, Jason. All right. Well, well done for you, Jason. A 12th victory in a row, which I believe officially now is the longest winning streak in Joker's Wild history on this channel now. $143,636 in cash is what he has. And when we come back, we're going to watch him actually beat the devil this time because I have faith it's going to happen. We're going to check it out right after this short commercial timeout. We'll be right back. I do also, so we all have faith there. Welcome back to the Joker's Wild. Jason, our all-time winningest uh, contestant here. 12 wins in a row now, over 143,000. And I'm on my way over here so we can watch him beat the devil. Beat the devil, beat the devil. At this point, I'm almost convinced it's going to take a baker's dozen before I get another win. <laughs> I, I don't think it's going to be that badly at this point, sir. Uh, it's getting there. It feels like it, but um, we'll see if we can turn things around here for you. As you know, the Please. prize board's already loaded for you, so when you feel lucky, go ahead and give it a spin. Oh, please be something good. Choker. Choker. 
and an air hockey table. So far, $23,495 in cash prices. Spin again. Okay. Trip to Santa Fe. A queen-sized brass bed sleep set and another joker. Brings your prize package now to $42,644 with the right to play for a brand new car. Three cars up there. Which one would you like? It's been a while. I need to go back in my tree. All right. Should you beat Lucy this time, you'll be driving away in a brand new Dodge Ooh. Caravan SE worth $19,834, making your total prize package $62,478. That can be yours when you beat the devil. We believe in you, Jason. Just breathe in, breathe out, and we're going to see you win. Yeah, Jason, go get him. All right, Jason, we've added another 5000 to the Joker's jackpot now, which now makes it stand at $180,000. Should you beat Lucy on one of your first two spins, we will double that to $360,000 in cash. So if you're ready, when the time's right, spin those reels, and let's see if you can beat that devil. Lucy, you come out, you're dead meat. Uh, please. Good vibes. Seven fifty thousand. One thousand. Twenty-seven fifty. A good start for you. You are seventy-two fifty away from a win. Stop. Okay. Bonus. Bonus. Ah. He says vamanos. <laughs> vamanos a cantar. No. <laughs> There <laughs> we go. 2,000. 2,000. 1,000. Are you serious right now? Oh, oh. Hey, don't, don't beat up my podium too badly, sir. I'm still going to need that for a few more episodes. 7750 now is what you got. Take that money and walk away a winner. Or risk it, and you need twenty-two fifty more. What do you want to do? Oh my! I'm covering my eyes for you. Oh my gosh! Here we go. Come on, please. Twenty-two fifty. It's all we need. Come on. Just give me a two thousand, a two fifty, and a joker. We'll call it a day. Yeah, he actually calls this. Send him the good vibes. I swear. I swear. Here we go. Joker. 2000. Joker. Are you serious? Oh, my God. Now. Wow. Jason, let's talk. 9750 is what you've got right now. You just spun two Joker, so that's 2000 in guaranteed money. This next spin is win or lose on this one. If you think Lucy's going to pop up, take the money and run now. That's $11,750 you can take and walk away a winner with. Or you can risk it and get, if you get past this next spin without the devil showing up, you're walking away a winner. What do you want to do? Go for it, Jason. I'm this close. I'm this close. I just want to sneak over. Let's go. All right, he's risking it. Okay. All you need, all you need to do is make it through this spin without seeing the devil, and you have won. Will the streak finally be coming to an end right here? Oh gosh! Come on, Jason. Send the good vibes, everybody. Come on, man. Good vibes. Please. No my patria is here. Here we go. 1,000. Joker. 2,000. He finally yes. got it. We got a winner. Yes. 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 Where are we going to go? Well done. Congratulations. Oh, we are finally there. Congratulations, sir. $12,750 in cash. We add in the prize package. We add in the $3,000 in Joker bonus money. And this one bonus round, sir, you have finally managed to pick up a win, a brand new car, and you're walking away with $78,228 in cash and prizes. 
When we add that to your previous winning, sir, you now have a much more respectable total for 12 games in a row and a grand total now of $221,864. Oh, man, I never worked so hard for a goddamn victory in my life. <laughs> it has, it has been a long time coming. Do you finally have the relief that you need? Is the pressure finally off of you? For now, yes, for now. <laughs> Well, well mm. done, sir. It's a long time slump that has finally come to an end for you. You can now take solace in the, knowing that you have bested the devil on this one. And, best and it took my tree to do it finally. Lucky tree <laughs> finally came, came yes. to victory for you. So well done. You take a breather for a minute and you're going to be back on our next episode. Hopefully to defend your championship once again. But right now we still have a couple minutes left. So we're going to do a quick audience game where three lucky audience members are going to get a chance to come up here and see if they can beat the devil as well. Let's find out who's going to be today. Meet Aaron Glenn, Travis Coulter, and Eagle Speech. Here's your chance to see if you can beat the devil. All right, gentlemen, welcome in. It's audience game time, so it's a chance for our players to earn themselves some cash prizes here. As you guys know, you're each going to get one spin of the reels now. We have cash amounts up there ranging from $1 to $1,000. Right, remember, the player who gets the most cash in their bank will be our winner and goes on to a shot to take down the devil. All right, Aaron, you were called down first, so when you're ready, just say spin, and we'll see how much cash you get. Spin. Here we go. One thousand four hundred. One thousand twenty-four hundred dollars. Nice. Good spin. Nice. Well done. Good total there. Um, Travis, twenty-four hundred. <laughs> Tough score to beat, but it can be done. It can be done. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Let's give it a good spin. So here it is. One hundred. One thousand four hundred. Fifteen hundred dollars. Not bad. Not bad. All right, and. Peach, you're up 2,400 the score to beat. That was fast. All right, let's do it. Say spin. Spin. Yeah, 300, 500, 100, $900. Not enough for $2,400. Aaron is today's audience game winner. Woo! Yay! And there's a math problem. 2,400 minus 1,500 yes. is 900. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> Mathematics, <laughs> it's essential. Yes. Right. Yes. The more you know. All right, with 2,400, Aaron, let's see how you do as you take on the devil. Come on down. Beat the devil. Beat, beat the devil. Oh, yeah. All right, we're just about out of really? time, so let's jump right into it, Aaron. Prize board's loaded for you, so when you're ready, give it a spin. Okay. Very nice. A trip to Acapulco and Mazatlan, along with a Joker for 17624 Spin it again. Computer desk, Joker, and a Bed Bath & Beyond gift card. 36305 and a chance for a brand new car. Which one would you like? Number one. Number one, should you beat the devil, you drive away at a brand new Ford Focus ZX worth $17,025. Making your total prize package $53,330. That can be yours, but only if you can beat the devil. Aaron, we wish you good luck. If the devil shows up, we'll kill him. <laughs> All right, Aaron, you know what you got to do here. Just as a reminder here in our audience game, if you spend three Jokers at any time, our Jokers jackpot for the audience game is worth $25,000. Do one of your first two spins. We still double it to $50,000. So when you're ready, good luck. Okay. Spin up 250, 2000, 2000. Good start. 4250. Almost halfway there. What do you want to do? Stop or go? Keep going, Aaron. That's what I would do. What's going on? Risking 4250 here. Spin up Joker. 2000. Joker. Oh, where is that middle Joker at when we need it? 6250, sir. You have 2000 in guaranteed money. What do you want to do? Stop or go? All right. 
Going on, risking 42.50 on this one. Here we go, Joker. Joker! 250! Oh, uh, the, the taunting game is happening now. 6,500, Aaron. You're 3,500 away from the win. What do you want to do? All right, risking 6,500 on this one. Joker, 500, 250. Oh, we're going a long way around here. 7,250, sir. What do you want to do? All right, risking and going on. 1,000, 250, 2,000, there's a winner! Yeah. There we go, $10,550 along with your prize package, the $5,000 in bonus money you got in that game, and the $2,400 from the upfront total, sir, gives you an audience game total today of $71,230, well done. Yay! Congratulations oh, to you, and that's yours. Yours will be rewarded that here in just a minute. But folks, we are all out of time for this episode. We thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button down below and ring the bell. That way, you never miss out on all the fun and games going down here at MVG Productions. And until the reels come spinning your way once again, I'm your host Brandon Scruggs, saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time right here on the Joker's Wild. Take care. Bye for now, folks. This is your announcer, Sunny Boy, speaking for the Joker's Wild, a Barry and Enright production in association with MVG Productions.